Hello, I'm Carol Andrews for another episode of Southwest TV News. Here are some of the stories we've been working on for today's show. Preventing the spread of illnesses in healthcare facilities is a stringent policy amongst healthcare regions. And despite their best efforts, outbreaks of enteric illnesses are still often reported, as is the case with several residents at the Swift Current Care Home this week. Emails such as this are becoming more popular for many who open up their email accounts on a daily basis. Messages coming in from unwanted senders, and often from banks or other companies who you generally do not do business with. As the temperatures continue to heat up, work crews will be hitting the streets addressing a range of annual repairs, including potholes, general paving, and sidewalk construction. Thanks for joining us here today. The importance of proper hand washing continues to be a key message by local health officials. We have more in today's top story. Preventing the spread of illnesses in healthcare facilities is a stringent policy amongst healthcare regions. And despite their best efforts, outbreaks of enteric illnesses are still often reported, as is the case with several residents at the Swift Current Care Home this week. Health region officials indicate that when clients and or staff start showing the signs of such illnesses, an outbreak status is put in place. Visitation is restricted, and additional sanitary measures are instituted within the facility in question. Dr. Tor is the consulting medical health officer for the Cypress Health Region and indicates proper hand washing by the general public plays a key role in the prevention of all illnesses. A lot of people tend to rush their hand washing, make sure it's other proper hand washing and frequent uh, hand washing because we're always touching a lot of substances and, you know, we, we don't always realize how much. Uh, we contaminate and recontaminate our hands, and uh, the same vein, we can also cause contamination elsewhere. And of course, definitely, if one is ill, stay at home. Otherwise, uh, wherever you go, you'll be potentially spreading illness. And as many individuals prepare for their summer vacations ahead, Tor goes on to stress the proper hand washing and cough etiquette should be practiced year round, whether you're close to home or at the campground. Sometimes it's wise to also carry your own water and, and, uh, and soap because you may not always be out in a situation where water is easily available. And of course, hand sanitizer is always a handy thing to have. A good rule of thumb for washing your hands is to sing a song from start to finish, such as the ABCs, ensuring your hands are thoroughly lathered and rinsed under clean water. Trust the team at Pinnacle Financial to help you reach your financial goals. Whether you require personal or corporate income tax planning, bookkeeping, management consulting, or full-service mortgage brokering, our expert team has you covered. Contact us today to begin your climb to the top. Scam artists are increasing their efforts to try and steal your money and your identity. And in this report, we take a closer look at one targeting online banking. Emails such as this are becoming more popular for many who open up their email accounts on a daily basis. Messages coming in from unwanted senders and often from banks or other companies who you generally do not do business with. And as you quickly browse through your inbox, you may be tempted to respond or click through to learn more about the sender. However, RCMP urge you to refrain from doing so. Don't click on, on stuff you don't know or you didn't ask for because even if, uh, if you go on the site and then close out, uh, they don't need you to navigate the site. All they need you to, is to click on the one link that's going to gain access to your computer. So um, it's not because you go on the site and decide, okay, I'm not going to fall for this. If you've clicked on it, you're, you're, they already got you. Corporal Perot further adds that if you do conduct any form of online banking, you may wish to keep a close eye on your transactions, as criminal minds may be trying to transfer funds from your account. But they find a way um, to get into your email account. So that could just be because you're accessing your email from an unsecured site or, or your passwords or tools. Whichever way they do is that they get into your email account. And then um, they're able to look through your emails. And if you've cor corresponded with your bank in the past, or if you have any type of information they can use to contact your bank and look legit, uh, well, then at a later date, they'll remotely access your email account and send an email to your bank uh, requiring a money transfer, and the bank will communicate 
with who they think to be you via email, and um, at times that uh, transfer of money is done or whatnot. The RCMP further advise you to be proactive in keeping your antivirus software up to date. Change your computer and email passwords frequently. And only do business online with sites you absolutely feel secure about. If you've been a victim of fraud or wish to report any suspicious messages in your inbox, contact your local police service and your financial institution immediately. The following is a paid political commentary by David Anderson, MP for Cypress Hills Grasslands, and does not in any way reflect the opinion of Southwest TV News. Welcome to the May Anderson Report. Natural resources are critical to our province and its future. As one of Canada's leading energy producers, if we're going to continue to grow our province, we must be able to sell our products. Lately, the House of Commons Committee on Natural Resources has been studying the issue of market diversification and energy. The question we've asked is a simple one. Is it important for us to diversify our energy markets, or can we continue to rely on one main customer, the United States? The message we've heard loud and clear is that energy markets are changing rapidly. The U.S. has discovered oil and gas and is committed to developing them, becoming energy independent, and selling their excess production around the world. Instead of being mainly a customer, they will be a competitor. This has highlighted just how critical it is that energy producing areas such as Alberta and Saskatchewan develop new markets. If we do not, the negative financial impact will be huge and it will be nationwide. We need new markets, especially in the growing economies of Asia. Pipelines need to be built south, west, and even east if we were to have that market access. Western access is especially critical and the timelines are tight. Those who would try to stop this are working directly against Saskatchewan and Canada's best interests. Saskatchewan's just gotten on its feet. What we're hearing in our committee is that we can move ahead if we develop resources and markets, but without new markets, we will be stopped in our tracks. Another season of paving and sidewalk construction is here, and the City of Swift Current has increased its funding for the coming year. As the temperatures continue to heat up, work crews will be hitting the streets addressing a range of annual repairs, including potholes, general paving, and sidewalk construction. At the recent Swift Current City Council meeting, approval was given for the awarding of these immediate repairs to Southwest Paving Limited of Swift Current for $230,000 plus GST and $173,000 to mobile paving for parking lot paving at a number of city-owned facilities. The city's director of engineering states that for all projects falling over $200,000, these will be tendered out on a broader scale, coinciding with the New West Partnership Trades Agreement. Now, these two contracts together uh, represent just a small portion of the historic uh, bigger contract, because the bigger contract, it, it takes in the, the the property development uh, projects that includes uh, concrete sidewalks and paving of, of new roadways and, and the major rehabilitation projects. This new West Agreement, it's just uh, an agreement between provinces uh, that uh, it, it gives uh, uh, the opportunity for uh, non-local contractors to bid on uh, projects maybe that in the past they weren't in, uh, typically had that opportunity. So uh, so the city will, will do its best to adhere to the agreement, but we do understand at the same time there's a need to sometimes do things for uh, outside of that agreement uh, to, in the best interest of our community. The City of Swift Current has allotted $2.6 million for the 2013 Sidewalk and Street Maintenance Program, up from approximately $1.8 million in 2012. Well, this brings to a close another episode of Southwest TV News, reporting the stories that matter to you. We always welcome your news tips. You can always reach us here by phone at our studio or by email to contact us at southwesttvnews.com. Also, be sure to join us daily online for the latest news from across southwest Saskatchewan and so much more at mylocaltv.ca. And be sure to follow us on Twitter, Facebook, and Pinterest. Thanks for joining us here today. I'm Carol Andrews.